And so what do the three fall feasts speak of? Most Christians aren't even familiar with the three fall feasts. But the first one is the Feast of Trumpets, which is known as Rosh Hashanah and Yom Teruah and several other names. You can't help but hear trumpets all through the book of Revelation. Mm -hmm. And then Yom Kippur is Israel's National Day of Atonement. And you see Yom Kippur all through the book of Revelation, if you know what to look for. And I believe that on Yom Kippur, some year, I have no idea what year, but some year, I believe the tribulation will begin on the Feast of Trumpets. Yom Kippur... Some year, you know, I'm not saying it's the same year that it's going to happen, but some year on the Yom Kippur, Israel will come to a national repentance, okay? And then that allows the Feast of Tabernacles, Mm -hmm. which God tabernacles among men for the thousand-year reign, will be kicked off on the Feast of Tabernacles, as it says in Zechariah 14. Everyone who doesn't keep the Feast of Tabernacles during the millennial reign is going to get no rain and the plague. So I don't know what year, but I do believe the events will happen on those days, but we won't realize a lot of this or see the connection if we're not on the biblical calendar. Well, you know, Mark, I don't see that churches are really into this very significantly. Now, I'm hoping that teachings like yours can sort of catch on, but I think that the church is a little bit um, tuned out when it comes to a lot of the a lot of the issues that you and I talk about. I'm sure you find the same thing happens. Yes, most definitely. I mean, how do you define church? I mean, for some people, if you're born in America, you're part of the church. The corporate church, the structured church is not talking about the feasts of the Lord. They really right. are. As a matter of fact, mo- most of the corporate church is turned off to just about anything that, that relates to Israel. And I'm talking, exactly. I'm talking, exactly. I'm talking evangelical churches here, folks. If you join me late, you are listening to Understanding the Times Radio, and I'm talking about the intriguing upcoming 2014 and 15 blood moons that are going to be upon us. And I got on the line from Washington State, Mark Biltz, El Shaddai Ministries. Learn more at El Shaddai Ministries US. And Mark is the one who actually once he got intrigued by this back in 08, sought out the NASA. You sought out the NASA, was it the website? Yes. And came up with the conclusion that we've got some pretty spectacular days ahead of us here. 